Hi everybody, this is Angel. So for this video, I'm going to bake a pumpkin bread. I have all the ingredients here. I'm using Libby's um, now, pumpkin this puree. One is ready. Um, and it's a heart shaped pumpkin, pumpkin. I don't bread have to bake with my own pumpkin. Chocolate. I just um, that's bought one. this can and I've got from Park and Shop. And then I've got this and ground cinnamon. The other one is I've got ground ginger. inside the oven now. I have, baking. I have a small oven, so I have to and wait here is the for quite some time. But on how to mm, make it smells good. I think bread. this recipe Pretty is really one of the best recipes for baking your pumpkin bread. So um, I have already put all my dry later. ingredients in this bowl. Enjoy our dinner. And Right now, I am preparing for my wet ingredients. I have four eggs in here. I've got a cup of vegetable oil. Well, actually, I'm using olive oil instead of vegetable oil. So I'm going to mix them all up and, um, and mix and combine this dry to wet ingredients. Um, to give you a very detailed list of the ingredients, what you need is a can of pumpkin puree, four eggs, a cup of vegetable oil, two third cup of water, three cups white sugar, three and a half cups all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoon salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, um, and a half a teaspoon of ground, ground gloves cloves and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whisk this first and add some water and combine it with the dry ingredients and now I am carefully um, mixing all the pumpkin puree to my to the rest of my wet I mean dry ingredients I just have to keep on mixing this with my whisk I don't need to use my electric mixer as this is quite easy to um, mix and combine. Now this one is ready and it's a heart shaped pumpkin bread with chocolate chips. That's one and I've got my second loaf there and the other one is inside the oven now baking. I have a small oven so I have to wait for quite some time but mm, it smells good I think this recipe is really one of the best recipe for baking your pumpkin bread so I'll uh, show you the finished product later enjoy our dinner there is the first loaf that I have already baked and just look at the crust it smells really good here in this kitchen um, I can see that I've got my chocolate chips there. I've uh, tried to remove the aluminum foil because I want to make sure if if it's all baked down at the bottom because I'm afraid that you know I'm I'm using a small oven so I'm just checking that if all parts of the bread is fully baked it looks good and it smells good. So that's my pumpkin bread recipe. Um, with chocolate chips. Thank you all for watching.